outfit, Sims 4 townies need makeovers bad. Here we have Miss Bella Goth, queen, icon, still recovering from the makeover the Sims team tried to give her recently. We have Summer Holiday. I am still convinced this girl has murdered someone. We have Eliza Pancakes. And we also have her miserable husband, Bob. We get the two for one couple special today. A bonding experience. Eliza, you're welcome. We are gonna give them what they need today and then some because I have my favorite tool in the whole wide world, the aesthetic wheel. And some of these are wild. I did not hold back adding the weird ones today. We're gonna spin this, give these townies a random makeover depending on whichever aesthetic we land on, no matter how opposite or out there it may be. By the way, link for the wheel and aesthetics are down below because people always ask me when I do videos like this. Oh, and also, if you hear any snoring throughout this video, I apologize in advance. It's Naimi, she's sitting on my lap and she's got seasonal allergies, like really bad. All she wants to do is snuggle her mommy and who are we to stop her, honestly? I think we're gonna start off here with Eliza Pancakes. So let's spin the wheel, see what we're gonna get for number one. We get Y2K. I have so much Y2K custom content in The Sims 4. You know what? I can see it. I think this is gonna work. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the glasses, remove the hair. You can have it all back. I'm obviously not gonna be changing their facial features or anything. We're just gonna be adding like skin details and stuff like that. For skin details, I'm debating between this Brighton one here or there's a Symbian's one that I really like. I think it's this one. Let's try this one for now. We're gonna get the lashes. Eliza has really small eyes, so I feel like if I'm sticking these like super dramatic lashes on her, they might look a little weird. So I'm considering just doing the top. We are changing those brows, girl. My favorite ones that I've been using lately are these ones here. And for hair, I downloaded so much hair for this. Recently, I found a bunch of new creators that I really liked, OK Ru being one of them. I can see Eliza with like something like that with the headband. I also have something more like this with the headband built in. Or there's this one. Or like these, depending how crazy we want to go with it. I think it's going to depend on the outfit, really. I think this hair actually suits her really well with these glasses totally pulling off that Y2K vibe. I'm thinking we add like a butterfly necklace, depending on what we wear. So let's go and get our outfit, then we can come back and do makeup. We know that Eliza Pancakes loves pink, so I'm thinking I could do that. Or we could update this like version of her pants. Because honestly, even the outfit that she's currently wearing is giving Y2K. Should we give her the wide leg cut? Since it's Eliza, I feel like it has to be jeans. Those actually look pretty good on her. And the flip flops, it's all too much. I feel like I do want her to wear flip flops or sandals or something. Let's see if we can find some different ones though. Maybe like those studded ones could work. We can give her a little belt like that. Actually, recently I bought one of these and I love it. I wore it to a wedding and it totally pulled my outfit together. I'm thinking a green top might match her a little bit better. Just with her hair, I'm thinking that actually looks good. Or this one. This is it. <gasps> with the butterflies. Okay, okay, okay. Changing the shoes one final time. We're actually gonna go for like the clunky sneaker look like those. <laughs> I'm gonna give her some pink glasses on her head to match the belt there. And for her makeup, I'm thinking like a gloss, like a pink gloss here. Okay, there we go. Maybe some liner actually. I like how that's pulling her eye up a little bit. We're gonna do some green shadow like that and all I need now is blush. <laughs> This is almost too perfect. Eliza Pancakes, our Y2K fashion icon. Kind of living for it, honestly. Is she meant to live like this? I think she's secretly meant for this aesthetic. <laughs> All right, that one was pretty easy. Let's move on. Let's do her husband, Bob, next. Rocking this dark academia, sloppy professor look. I have redone this bun like 10 times, I tell you. Okay, spinning for Bob. I'm low-key quite excited about this. Snow bunny, let's do it. Mr. Pancakes, you are about to embark on a snowy escape. <laughs> Maybe unpopular opinion, I love Bob. I hope we can do him justice. I'm thinking about giving him like a bigger beard. If we're gonna be out in the snow, we gotta make sure that he's got warmth to protect his face. What about one of these like full cottage living ones? Or do we shave it? I feel like we gotta give him something. We're gonna try and change it from this shade of black here to this one, which is a huge difference. Same as the hair, look at that change. Oh wait, oh, Bob, we're growing your hair, Bob. <laughs> I love that hair on him, I'm keeping it. For skin details, I really like this one on. The one I'm using is from Symbian. And I'm gonna give him some really subtle lashes. Okay, Snow Bunny. Let's try and find you a fit here. <laughs> we could give him a puffy jacket. The beard doesn't fit. But I mean, come on, that would have been perfect. So for Snow Bunny, obviously he's like hitting the slopes. He's going snowboarding or something. And the obvious thing here would be to give him just like a full coat and snow pants from like Snowy Escape. Like literally like one of these outfits here. <laughs> so maybe we'll give him two. I'll give him an outfit for like hitting the slopes and one for him just chilling like in the chalet. Oh, with the hat, he kind of looks cute. Let's rock this here for Bob. That's gonna be his snow attire. 
I also really love this fit here from Snowy Escape. Some of my favorite swatches in here. Lumberjack Bob is kind of killing it. Okay, no, we're gonna give him this coat here, this sweater combination. We can't have rips in your jeans. You're gonna freeze there, bud. All right, we got our pants. Bob's looking great. Need some shoes. Also need some gloves. And with that, I present to you every Canadian man in the winter ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That coat is way too thin. I'm excited for Bob. Maybe he'll embark on a new life in Mount Kemerebi and become a snowboarding instructor. I don't know. I don't make the rules. The wheel does. And you know what? Your future looks bright, Mr. Bob. You and your Y2K wife, Eliza. All right, let's move on. Next up, we have Miss Summer Holiday. Let's go back to the wheel. I'm really hoping we get something weird this time. We get fairy core. Okay, let's do it. So I didn't just have fairy wings like hanging around in my custom content folder, but I just looked it up quickly on Google and I found this website here. It's literally a whole list of different like wings for fairies, including the links. I'm torn between this one and this one is so pretty. Also, there's like this one. That's kind of cool. So naturally, I'm going to download all three. <laughs> Look at this mod folder, besties. This is getting ridiculous. I actually really need to clean out my mods folder and I was thinking about making a video about it, just like deleting it and starting fresh. So let me know if you guys want to see that. We'll consider it a drama because you know how attached us simmers get to our custom content. I'm so sorry, console players. Okay, so I found it. They are under hats. <gasps> it's going to be so pretty. Okay, let me remove this dress. Put that on for now. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm excited. Flashbacks to Sims 3 fairies. I miss her. I would just spend hours in cast just like creating fairies. Oh, even those are pretty too. I think I prefer these ones though. They're a little bit more like whimsical looking. I'm excited. We're going to remove the makeup. We'll remove the hair. We're going to change the skin details. For skin details, we're going to use this one. This is the same one we gave to Eliza, which honestly, they're kind of looking similar. Is that just me? Without the hair and the makeup and everything, they kind of look similar. The best thing about this is for fairy core, we don't have to hold back. It's an occult sim, fantasy vibes. That means we can venture to use hairs that like we wouldn't normally use. Like this one could be really pretty, an extra long one, a shorter look like that could be cute. I'm tempted to give her like bright hair. <gasps> That's really pretty. Or this one here too. These are some of the new ones that I got. We're gonna do this one, but in like a nice bold color. I like this one on her, the white hair. This one also works too, depending on what kind of fairy we go for. Maybe we'll influence a little bit differently. But for now, I'm gonna give her this one. Okay, I think the outfit is throwing me off big time, so we need to get a fairy core fit now. <laughs> I'm definitely thinking some kind of dress. This one's really pretty. Ooh, that looks cute. There's a few different colors to pick from too. I don't think this dress was meant to give off fairy vibes, but it kind of is. I kind of like her in green. I wish it wasn't clipping her hands because this dress is really gorgeous. I actually have these glove things here that are giving off like fairy vibes. I also have like these little ones here. They're just like little see-through gloves, which are cute, but these ones are definitely hitting it here. I'm thinking this might be the fit if I go in and add more accessories or this. This is it. This is the look. Okay, let's get some shoes. I have these ones with literal like fairy wings on them, but I feel like that with the fit already might be a little too much. I think I'm gonna go for those strappy style, kind of mimicking her gloves there. I have this really pretty like leaf ring I'm gonna put on if we're going for that forest fairy look. We'll get some green nails going too. Ooh, for makeup. Okay. I recently downloaded a whole bunch of these crazy like eyeliners, like graphic liners. Ooh, that could work. That could work. Maybe with some green shadow. We're gonna toss on some lipstick. I'm actually playing around with this face paint here. And you know what? I think for her hair, I am gonna go with that lighter shade of silver. I really would have liked to put something in her hair, like a flower or something, but the wings are under the hat category. So if we try and place anything else, it's gonna completely remove them. So I think I'm gonna leave her like that. Moving on to our final sim, we have Bella Goth. I love giving Bella makeovers. All right, Miss Bella, what are we gonna do for you? Hippie, I'm kind of down. All right, we're gonna remove the makeup and the hair. Apologies. Bella is so pretty. Okay, for skin details. Honestly, I'm kind of in between favorites for skin details right now. So if anyone has any favorite ones, feel free to let me know. We'll get our lashes, of course. Okay, for hair. My first thought was to go for braids, like these or something, or these. But she is rocking this like 70s swept look. Of course she is. It's Bella Goth. This was another option too, but I think I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna give her some flat flower earrings from Cottage Living. I totally forgot I had one of these. I think it must be the headband that I just added, but this is not giving hippie with that thing. It's giving more like Wonder Woman, right? That flower crown though is so pretty. I think I'm gonna let her have this one. Okay, let's give her something to wear. I think I'm feeling shorts here or like a skirt, more so 
shorts or like a wide leg like this. I also have these, which I'm obsessed with right now. Oh my gosh, no, she's getting these. Look at those pants. Those are everything. There's also this swatch. Where did I get this? Or this one? I think if I leave this on though with the flower crown might be a little too much unless we try those. We're gonna have to go really plain with the top, I think, to pull it off. Maybe like a shirt like this or like that could work. I also have some with like the flared sleeves or that. I kind of love this outfit. This one has a peace sign on it. I feel like we have to use it. And to top it all off, I'm looking for a longer necklace. I think just something like that could work. We'll change the shoes. I've changed around her look one more time. I've matched with a red top, totally Bella Goss. And I'm just adding on a few bracelets on each arm to add to the hippie aesthetic. And I think this is how we're gonna leave her. She's definitely my favorite one. I love this outfit on her. I think honestly, anything that we got could have been pulled off by Bella Goth, but what can you do? So that is all I got for you guys today. I hope you like this cast video. I've been putting up a few more cast videos here lately. So if you have any challenges you wanna see me do, let me know. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.